Recently, while walking over to the workshop, I found a mattress and headboard leaning up against the dumpster waiting to go to the landfill. I ripped the bottom of the mattress off and found that all of the wood in here is poplar. There's very few staples, so this is going to be a lot of good salvageable hardwoods. I also found a headboard that has oak posts and either maple or poplar rails. I'm not exactly sure yet, but I'm going to salvage as much of this as I can as well. Recently, Patrick from Patrick's Workshop shows how to make a really cool bandsaw scoop. And that's exactly what I'm gonna try to make today. I'm gonna chop off the bottom of both of these posts on this headboard, and hopefully I'll have enough material to make a couple different designs. I was able to salvage four of these blocks that are three inches by three inches by six inches tall. I've glued two of them side by side because I want to make one scoop that is wider. And while it dries, I can work on the shapes for my two smaller ones. Now, I am salvaging material, so I do have some flaws here and there, but I'm totally all right with that. For a rounded scoop, I'm just gonna trace this cut. And then I can eyeball the inside cut offsetting by, I don't know, about a quarter of an inch. And this scoop is going to be square, so not much to this one. So basically the way that this works is you cut out some type of scoop shape, it doesn't really matter. And then you slide the center section over to one side and glue it back on. This will give you a lot of mass that you can carve a handle out of and obviously the scoop shape.
I did all the final shaping of the bigger scoop by hand and I really like the way it turned out but it honestly took a lot more time than I had anticipated so I'm gonna press the easy button for the two smaller scoops and I think I'm just going to use my bench top belt sander. Big thanks again to Patrick at Patrick's Workshop for showing us how to make this easy bandsaw scoop. Uh, it's a very fun project that I probably never would have thought of by myself, so thanks for sharing your ideas with us, Patrick. And if you decide to make one of these, post it on my Facebook page. I'll be sure to share it for everybody else to see, and I'm pretty anxious to see what everyone else comes up with. It's a simple design that you can very easily customize in many different ways. Also, if this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. I post a new woodworking video pretty much once a week, and whenever possible, I have free downloadable plans available on my website. Thanks for watching, folks, and have a great day.